Welcome all, and let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Lord be with you. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here as friends and family to witness the marriage of Eric and Julie. We come to share in the joy and celebrate their love. And so I ask, who presents this bride for marriage? Very good, thank you. Please be seated. And if not already, now is a good time to silence your cell phones. Julie and Eric want to take this moment and acknowledge their parents and families on this occasion. They offer their profound gratitude to their parents and families for all of the love and care that you have shown in raising and supporting them. The unconditional gifts of love and support that you have continually offered have inspired them to become who they are today, and they thank you from the bottom of their hearts for guiding them to this celebration of love today. Without you, this day would not be possible. And while we all celebrate and rejoice that you're all here with us, we are reminded at this moment of the people who are dear to Eric and Julie, who cannot be here today to share this moment with us due to travel, illness, or having passed. So let us pause a moment and bring Julie's past family members and Eric's past family members into our thoughts, our prayers, our memories, and our hearts. Therefore, it is all the more important that those of you here today with Eric and Julie may stand as witnesses to the happiness which they found together and to the pledges they will make each to another for the mutual service of their common life. <sighs> okay. Eric, Julie, you come to marriage to separate persons who, through love, affection, and joy, agree to unite your lives in common purpose. Through that love, husband and wife come to know each other with mutual care and companionship. And through that joy, wife and husband now share the new life with others. Marriage, as in life, challenges you both to find the best of each other in times of joy when it's easy, in times of sorrow when it's not, but to learn from each other and to deepen your love, your compassion, and your understanding of each other. And so, ladies and gentlemen, invited guests, family, and friends, if I may speak on your behalf, with our love and our prayers, we support Julie and Eric as they now freely give themselves to each other in this holy bond of matrimony. And so before your guests gathered here, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and the soul to share all the joys of the new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Eric, do you have Julie to be your wife? You will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? Julie, do you have Eric to be your husband and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? You've declared your intent and desire to marriage. Please turn toward each other and take care of those hands. I, Eric, take you, Julie. I, Eric, take you, Julie. To be no other than yourself. To be no other than yourself. Loving. Loving. What I know of you. What I know of you. Trusting. Trusting. What I do not yet know. What do I not yet know? With respect. With respect. For your integrity. For your integrity. And faith. And faith. In your love for me. In your love for me. Through all our years. Through all our years. And in all, and in all that, life may bring us. that life may bring us. Julie, please repeat after me. I, Julie, take you, Eric. I, Julie, take you, Eric. To be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Trusting, Trusting what I do not yet know. With respect for your integrity and faith in your love for me. Through all our years, and in all that life, they bring us. Eric and Julie, what do you have to share and symbolize your love? Rings. Let these rings be symbols of the vow and covenant that you have made here this day. For the elements of the earth, through work and faith, were taken the materials for these rings, just as from the elements of life and emotion came your desire for this marriage. As the perfect circle of a ring symbolizes eternity, in the years to come, may these rings remind you of this special day when you were united in marriage and the love you mutually pledged to one another. We ask God to bless these rings and those who wear them 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Julie. Because this ring, because this ring has, no end has no end or beginning, or beginning. It, signifies it signifies the continuation, the continuation of true love. true love. As I place it on your finger, as I, place it on your finger I give you, I give you all, that I am, all that I am and ever hope to be. Julie, can you take Eric's ring and repeat after me? <laughs> she knows, trust me. Eric, Eric. Because, this ring because this ring has no end, has no end. Or, beginning. or beginning, it signifies, it signifies the, continuation the continuation of true love. True. As I place it on your finger, I give you, I give you all, that I am, all that I am and ever hope to be. A type of happiness and love that now I can't live without. I hope to have given you the same. You have changed my life forever. I'm, do I'm devoting everything to you and your mom. Thank you for loving and accepting me. I promise to be the best stepdad ever. You're a husband and wife and the ceremony witnessed by God and your family and friends. Be merciful in all your ways, kind in heart and humble in mind. Accept life and be most patient and tolerant with one another. And above all else, be truly loving. Let peace always reign in your hearts. Never forget to be thankful for what life has given you. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to stand. And let us pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Could you have a bouquet back? Ladies and gentlemen, invited guests, family, and friends, as we come to the conclusion of our ceremony, let us join as one and blessing our newly married couple and this their holy and happy day. <laughs> Julie, <laughs> Julie and Eric, may your home be a haven of peace and your relationship be one of truth and understanding. May you enjoy length of days, fulfillment of hopes, and peace and contentment of mind. May all that is noble lovely and true, abide with you forever. Go now in peace, and may peace attend you all your days. By the authority of the state of Mexico, I pronounce you husband and wife. Eric, you may kiss your bride.
that I'm holding. 